Eight seven seven forty four Woody after hours voicemail. All right, here's where it's going to uh, get a little. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Yo, I'm with Sammy and Greg on this. If you sold your dog for fifty million dollars, you're a total trash human being. All right. So this oh. was a hypothetical okay. question that came up. I think it was on the text or something. It was like, oh no, it was that uh, that homeowner. The homeowner had right, in Australia. a fifty yeah. million dollar offer because yeah. the developer. Just needs their needs land, which is five of acres. Attractive land, yeah. Right. It's five acres. They, they could go buy there. literally <laughs> 500 acres. Right. Yeah, exactly. Anywhere else. They started with a $5 million offer, and then they went 10 years after rejecting that. Then they came back and said, all right, we'll give you $50 million. <laughs> they still said they no. They said no. Yeah. No, I Take doig. the no, money. No, I dingo. And then somebody on the text hit us up and said, uh, hey, ask Greg. $50 million to get rid dog. of his dog. Not to kill his dog, no, no death. Just give it away. Yeah. yeah, just to give it to somebody else that goes, lives in happy life somewhere else. I $50 I, million. I said dollars. I can't do it. I couldn't do it. Yeah, so Greg said no. Sammy said no. And Bort said right. no. And Bort said no. I think for we got three liars. Snake. Yeah. yeah. Three, I, I would like take my dog make, by the make face. Make the look offer. Prove me <laughs> wrong. Look at, her, look at her and go, you understand, right? Yeah. You want me to do yeah. this. My dogs right. don't give two craps about me. Like, yeah. if somebody had a blueberry in their hand, they'd be gone. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, a blueberry. That's what, yeah. uh, that's what this guy's calling in on. Right. Yo, I'm with Sammy and Greg on this. If you sold your dog for $50 million, you're a total trash human being. Honestly, like, that animal cares about you more than life itself, and you're just willing to take money over something that will die and protect you with its very life. Okay, $50 million. Yep. Just to just to restate that, we're not talking about five dollars. Yeah, fifty this is, million. This is how it went in circles. Dollars. Fifty million. Yes, we because know. I I have to believe that maybe you just didn't hear that part where it was fifty. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear it four hundred times. Well, like, like, like Greg million. said, he's betting on the fact yeah. that you won't have the money ever to show him. Yeah, so he yeah, can yeah. just say whatever he wants, and yeah. we'll believe him because we're idiots. Are you serious, sure. dude, bro, my guy? <laughs> Your dog should be the greatest and most important thing to you, and the fact that. You would just sell it for money is terrible. No. F the money. Sorry for cursing. But F the money and stand by your animal because that's what it's all about. Okay. okay. All right. Yep. One. Agreed. Oh, my dogs would die for me. Dude, you haven't met my dogs. Yeah. No, they uh, wouldn't. And those... Two, I get it, dude. You want to sleep with Greg. We, we get, get it. it. <laughs> yeah. Now, we had uh, another person hit us up, mm -hmm. right, after hours. Says, uh, hi, my name is Manny, longtime listener. I'm catching up on the podcast. $50 million for your dog. Sammy, Bort, and Greg are all the biggest liars. <laughs> That's true. Oh, yes. They're sure. saying no because it's not real. Yeah. Right. Scenario, it's not a real scenario. Exactly. But if it actually happened, the money is right there in their face. They would take of it. Of course. Make the Absolutely offer. Absolutely. And like. I'll prove you wrong. Well, again, I think that's one of those things that you think because it isn't real. I, I, I do agree more with that. Well, obviously, it's not yeah. real. It's the it's. But, that's what a hypothetical is. But no right. argument has been made as to why, other than I really love my dog. Well, and if, my, you would listen, yeah, if you would listen, if you had the ability to listen to anybody, trading, we can restate that you're. This is a dog that you love, yes. and it's basically I like selling that. a family member. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't do that if I was poor. I I actually do quite well in life. I don't think there's anything I want that 50 million bucks would get me in um, exchange for my dog. But and I don't give one flying F if you believe me. Well, here's why we don't believe you. Because you had dogs before this that you loved a lot, I'm sure. You can have dogs after this that you will also love a lot, I am sure. I in fact, you don't do love that. this dog as much as you loved your last that dog. Is, that is probably true. And so but what I we're still, saying... I love yeah. this dog. And you, and you are doing damage to all dogs because you could take, as That's, I said before, okay, that, millions that, of that dollars. No. Is, <laughs> Well, yeah, why is that? Why is rescue with being able to rescue thousands of dogs? Not, why would I get rid of one because to rescue a bunch of dogs? How, do, yeah. <laughs> How does that make sense? Yeah. I'm not even going to bother sitting here lying, yeah. saying that's what I do because yeah. that's not what I would do. I'm not even listening uh -huh. to psychopath. All I heard was fifty million no, dollars. Yeah. And why I think, would I get rid of one to get ten? <laughs> and I realized because it is a hypothetical. Huh? It's not realistic. Mm. Nobody's going to ever offer you fifty million. dollars Well, then you'll never be able to prove me wrong. Okay, but I'm saying I believe, and this is where we can just agree to disagree. I believe if the money really was sitting right in front of somebody, I think you would be hard-pressed to find somebody who, in anybody that moment, who if it was there, no. who would say no. That's, that's my belief. Enjoy that belief. That's my belief. I've already named my new dog. <laughs> Enjoy that belief. Yeah. All right. So, see, I told you that it was going to it was gonna reignite mm -hmm. a back and forth. But you can always leave us a message on the After Hours voicemail, 877-44-WOODY, anytime after 10 a.m., or send us an email, email at thewoodyshow.com.